Are you a tightwad or a smart spender? Ever scratched your head over what sets these two apart? Today we're gonna jump head first into this juicy topic and spill the beans on these two ways of handling your dough. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of being a penny pincher and a smart spender, look into how each of these can shape the way you live, and even pave the way for your personal finance journey. We'll also chat about the long-term impacts of these behaviors on your life quality. Stick around as we take a wild ride into the captivating world of personal finance and lifestyle choices. Before we dig into the differences, let's get one thing straight. What does being a penny pincher and a smart spender actually mean? Being a penny pincher is all about spending less, often to the point of giving up quality or convenience. It's the mindset of squeezing every penny and cutting corners wherever possible. On the flip side, being a smart spender is about prioritizing and maximizing value. It's not just about spending less, but spending smartly, getting the most bang for your buck. Now that we've cleared that up, let's see how they stack up against each other. What makes a person a tight wad or a smart spender? Let's dive in. The first telltale sign is their approach to spending. A penny pincher may avoid spending money like it's the plague, even if it means giving up quality or convenience. In contrast, a smart spender carefully weighs the value and lifespan of a purchase before parting with their cash. Second, let's chat about saving. A penny pincher typically saves without any real goal, while a smart spender saves with a purpose, whether it's for an investment, a dream vacation, or a rainy day fund. Speaking of investment, here's our third point. A penny pincher may run away from investing like it's a haunted house, while a smart spender understands that calculated risks can lead to financial growth. Fourth, their attitude towards money is different. A penny pincher sees money as something to hoard, like a squirrel with its nuts, while a smart spender views money as a tool to achieve financial freedom and a better quality of life. Lastly, their understanding of value. A penny pincher equates value with low cost, whereas a smart spender equates value with high quality. As we can see, being a penny pincher and a smart spender are as different as chalk and cheese, especially when it comes to lifestyle. So, how does being a penny pincher or a smart spender affect your lifestyle? Let's spill the tea. Being a penny pincher can sometimes make you miss out on fun stuff. For instance, you might say no to a concert or a dinner because you don't want to spend the dough. This can make you feel isolated and constrain your friendships. Moreover, being a penny pincher might also mean missing out on experiences that could make your life richer. On the other hand, being a smart spender is all about balance. It's about making smart choices and prioritizing what really matters to you. This can lead to a more fulfilling life, as you're not constantly stressing about every single penny. You might decide to splurge on a vacation because it gives you joy and relaxation. Or, you could invest in a top-notch item because it will last longer and provide more value over time. When it comes to overall quality of life, being a smart spender can lead to less stress and more satisfaction as you are making conscious decisions based on value and not just cost. It's clear that being a penny pincher and a smart spender can lead to very different life experiences, but what about their effects on personal finance? Your approach to money can make or break your financial future. So, what are the long-term effects of being a penny pincher versus a smart spender? Let's break it down. Being a penny pincher often leads to short-term savings. You might save a few bucks today by buying that bargain toaster, but in the long run, you could end up shelling out more on replacements when it gives up the ghost prematurely. On the other hand, being a smart spender means making savvy, strategic spending decisions that might cost more upfront but save money in the long run. It's not just about spending less, but spending wisely. Being a smart spender often leads to long-term financial security and wealth accumulation. By focusing on value over cost, and investing in quality items that last, you're setting yourself up for a more stable financial future. In the grand scheme of things, it's obvious that being a smart spender tends to have more positive long-term effects on personal finance than being a penny pincher. So, are you a Scrooge or a savvy saver? We've dissected the differences between these two, from their defining traits to their influence on one's lifestyle. We've highlighted how being a savvy saver can positively shape your financial future, while being a Scrooge might lead to missed opportunities and strained friendships. The bottom line is this, it's the value, not the cost, that truly counts. Remember, it's not about being stingy, but about being smart with your dough. So go ahead, be a smart spender, not a Scrooge. Catch you in the next video.